All right, this is why seed cycling works. And if you're like, what is seed cycling? Let me tell you, let me tell you, it is super simple and easy here. And I'm gonna do a little demo, not live because it's loud, but I'll show you exactly how I prep my seeds and everything and how this can work. Seed cycling, super easy thing to do. And this is something I recommend for a lot of the ladies that I work with. Days one through 14 of your cycle. And if you're thinking, I don't have a cycle, or I'm on a birth control, does that matter? You can still use this same pattern, you know, and get the benefits of it and improve, you know, hot flash symptoms, things like that. Uh, but days one through 14, it's just one tablespoon of pumpkin and flax seed, just one tablespoon of each. And then one days 15 through 28, one tablespoon of sesame and sunflower. And what I'll show you right here. So this is, I have room on my table for all these things. So Pumpkin seed, Terrasol, I, I love this brand. This is not sponsored by them or anything. I just really love them because they have organic um, whole seeds for you to use. And then there's also golden flax seed. So this is what I get. This is how I get it, right? And then for days one through 14 of your cycle, all I do is I take either pumpkin or flax. I put it in this coffee grinder. This coffee grinder is not fancy. It is a Mr. Coffee coffee grinder that I think was like $12 at Target. <laughs> Grind the seeds in here. This is the loud part. And then I store them in a glass jar that I then put a tablespoon of this pumpkin and then a tablespoon of the flax in a shake. You can also put it in salad or in cottage cheese, yogurts. Um, bake with it right? Um, I have a ton of recipes where I will use the, the seed powder to make protein balls, muffins, things like that, just to get these nutrients in. And then it's the same thing for bum, 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 days 15 through 28. Sunflower seeds, raw shelled, right? And sesame seeds. And this might sound weird, right? Like, like sesame, that might taste a little... Mm. It's got a... Like if you just eat them plain, it's a little bit of a... Not bitter, but... I say earthy taste to it. So that's why, I'm again, I throw it in a shake. I put it in a shake, super easy peasy to use, right? Um, if you're like... Who is this lady? Why is she talking about this stuff? I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution, Female Menopause Solution. So this is what I do. I guide women on how to utilize specific nutrition tactics to help regulate your hormones and get the best results for you possible. And if you're like, oh my gosh, I want to know more or how do I work with you? Go in the comments and get on the wait list. Um, learn more about the one-to-one -one program that I have where we go through a ton of information on your personal health history, exactly what your system would need, and how to target that specifically for you. So um, I want to talk about, though, about why this works. Because this is a question I get. Sometimes gals are like, this, this seems interesting. This makes sense. I could do this. Yeah, the hardest thing about seed cycling is remembering to do it consistently. Because doing this for one month, right, two weeks, of the pumpkin and flax, and you'll see I made this blue for the cooling foods that I talk about. And then sesame sunflower, red for warming foods that I talk about that match with progesterone. Um, it's not hard to do at all. It's literally just remembering to do it on a routine. So to be in a specific place, or oh, I was chatting with somebody today and she was like, yeah, I was really good all year with seed cycling and I could totally tell that my next period that I had was much better, way less bloat, um, no cramps leading up to it, just some, some mild cramps during my cycle. It was much lighter, so fantastic changes, awesome. And she's like, then I traveled for work during the week, I forgot my seeds and I have been back home for another week and I haven't gotten back into it, dang it. That's okay, just pick up where you left off, right? Pick up where you are at in your cycle. We forget that our bodies are dynamic and that it's okay if it's not, oh, exactly every day, just like this, No, just pick back up. If you shifted phases, just jump right into the progesterone phase using these seeds and everything else. And then the cool thing is how this really works for your body because sometimes it's like, really, just the seeds. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do that much. Like, like it's just a tablespoon of each. 
Is it really, is it really that fancy? Hmm, hmm. Seems like it's too good to be true, right? I totally understand that. The benefit of this is that it contains specific nutrients, right? Um, flax and things like that. They have um, ligands, which are phytoestrogens, which actually bind to excess estrogen. So many things in our world today can cause us to have excess estrogen or estrogen that's not being utilized properly in our systems. Um, stress, lack of sleep, environmental toxins, um, <clears throat> endocrine disruptors, all of these things can cause our systems to have excess estrogen. Again, a lot of times people will classify that as having estrogen dominance, things like that. Yes. So having these excess estrogens is what can wreak havoc on your system. And, and one of the things that I help women with because it drives me bananas because nobody talks about this enough. It, this plays a huge role in weight loss resistance. Yes, huge role. So if you're trying to like get to the gym and do all this stuff and I'm busting my butt, I'm being perfect on a nutrition plan and I cannot make my, the scale budge at all. We have to look at this, right? Yes, huge, huge role. So <clears throat> that's the benefit here of these nutrients that are found in these seeds. Now sesame and sunflower seeds, there's specific nutrients in them as well. Um, you know, the seeds as well, they have like uh, omegas, things like that, that help uterine, um, you know, uh, the uterine layers and all those, these other wonderful things, fantastic. But these also boost progesterone production. Again, with having excess estrogen and a lot of things that we are, that women are, you know, exposed to every day, our estrogen goes up and then the progesterone can't quite <clears throat> boost to balance it out. So that's where this helps that progesterone production to help boost and balance out the estrogen going through a natural cycle. This isn't making your body do anything it's not designed to do. It's designed to work with your system. Now, why this sounds so weird to a lot of us is that, what do you mean my food is just supposed to work for me? Yes. Well, how do I make it regulate? By regulating with you. If you have a longer than a 28 day cycle, that's fine. If you have a 32 day cycle, do 16 days and 16 days instead of 14 and 14. There you go, right? This is designed to work with your system. But so often we're only told that we can work with our bodies if it's medicated and forced. This is a way different way to do it. This is working with your body in a very natural way and encouraging the correct things to happen with your natural physiology. <sighs> yes, it makes me really pumped. Um, and there are nutrients in here that help support hormones by helping your liver process through excess things and keep things regulated. So again, your liver does, you know, 85% of all hormone processing. So if you have hormone imbalance of any kind, it is always, always a good idea to just assist your liver, help it out, give it a little boost, right? And by incorporating these seeds, again, we're not doing anything crazy. We're not eating, you know... Don't eat half the bag, you know, right? I mean, this is what, two pounds? Yeah, two pounds. All you need is a tablespoon of it. Again, this is it ground in my coffee grinder. Do, do I do a perfect job of grinding it? No, you can see there's like a couple of bigger chunks in there. That's fine. That's fine, right? And the flavors are mild enough where I don't notice it in my morning shake because I do a coffee shake. So good. Coffee, chocolate protein, and then seeds. Yes, just deliciousness. Um, yeah, so this is this is the basic thing here. If you're like, if you're thinking to yourself, gosh, this sounds fantastic, I want to give this a try, or oh man, I was doing this and now I kind of got out of sync with it, I'm gonna start it again. Fantastic. The other thing that you can add in on top of this to really assist your system. Tinctures. I formulated these tinctures specifically for the female body. This is estero balance. These are herbs, so this is different than seed cycling. These are herbs and everything that help the body. Um, hops, red clover, shatavari, don quai, fennel, alfalfa, valerian, um, peppermint, right? Cooling. It's blue. Cooling. Cooling, right? So these are different things than what this is, but they also help your body produce and maintain the right amount of estrogen and then progesterone, the progesterone balance here. Again, different. These are different herbs, totally different herbs. Vitex, with the, which is chaste berry. Um, red raspberry leaf, um, damiana, ginger, oregano, uh, vervian, and cayenne, which makes it spicy for warming. Yes. 
also really helpful for progesterone. And I can't tell you how many gals that have started, oh yeah, I was doing seed cycling and it helped. What else can I do besides eating for your cycle, which is what I teach you how to do, the eat for your cycle method. We have uh, supplements for your cycle, nutrition for your hormones. So these are fantastic to layer in as well. Yes. Okay. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any other specific questions on this, or I would love to hear if you have done seed cycling and noticed a change, please comment below because so many women don't realize, oh my gosh, yeah, this can make a big difference. And it doesn't take a super long period of time, right? You have to go through, you know, you know, be consistent with it most of the time, but it has an amazing impact on your hormones. So I would love to hear your stories. I would love to hear your experience. Let me know if you have any other questions and make sure if you want to learn more about working with me in a one-on-one -on -one setting, go in the comments, click that link and we go from there. All right. Have a great rest of your night, you guys, and I will see you later.